Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on a fantastic Frylands Friday. It is Friday, September 8th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a great day of learning. Hey, have you seen this really cool wall here? Welcome back, Falcons. Everyone's name in the school is up here on this wall. You gotta find your leaf and see if you can find your name on here. Thank you to Mrs. Baca for putting this together before school started. You know what, we're a big family tree, we are. We're a Frylands family. So when you're at school every day, realize that when you are here, you're part of our school community and our family, you belong here. Everyone belongs, that's part of that A of acceptance in the word soar. We accept everybody and we include everybody because we are all part of the same Frylands family and Frylands community. So welcome back on this fantastic first Frylands Friday. Hey, as you get started today, it is Blue Friday. I wore a little bit of Seahawk stuff. Um, if you're wearing Seahawks or Mariners things or the color blue for Blue Friday to represent the Seahawks and Mariners, thanks for showing your school spirit with that. Hey, you know, coming up on Monday, Monday is Patriot Day, September 11th. So we're encouraging all of our students and staff to wear red, white, and blue on Monday, which happens to be our school colors. So red, white, and blue on Monday um, is in honor of Patriot Day, which is September 11th, and we'll be talking about that more um, when we come back on Monday. And Monday, guess what? We get our kindergartners and our TK, our transition to kindergarten students here on Monday morning. So we'll be getting our, our school pretty full and we'll get all of our Frylands Falcons here starting on Monday. So last day with just first, second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Also next week, you'll start seeing an application form. If you'd like to sign up next week, you'll see those um, up and I'll show you where that is on Monday. Um, applications for things like green team, uh, if you want to help us in the library, out on the playground, we'll have different uh, jobs or roles for you to do to have a leadership position in our school. We love when you help out, just like I love our safety patrol. Thank you to those on safety patrol for doing such an awesome job each day in the morning and afternoon, helping us to keep our students and fellow Falcons safe. All right? Awesome job. Hey, you know what? I wanted to share a couple things with you. Look at this. I don't know if you've seen this yet with your teachers. This is called zones of regulation. And what it is is we all have different feelings throughout the day or how we're feeling. Like you may feel tired or sad, okay, bored. That means you're in the blue zone. Sometimes I'm in the blue zone. This morning I was kind of a little tired on Friday morning. I was kind of blue starting off the day, but I'm actually now in the green zone where I'm kind of feeling pretty happy excited for the day you guys are going to be here pretty soon i'm excited to have our first friday with you um, kindergartners are going to do a special event this afternoon with their families and their teachers so i'm excited with that and so i'm just feeling really good i'm, I'm in the green zone right now sometimes i'm in the yellow zone when i'm in the yellow zone it's where i'm a little bit anxious and worried about things maybe i'm frustrated a little bit not a lot but a little bit i'm not quite in the green zone and then sometimes I get in the red zone. And red, sometimes red is, I'm so excited. Sometimes I get in the red zone, I get so excited at home. My family is like, you need to calm down a little bit. So sometimes the red zone can be that you're super excited, right? But it also can be that you are really mad, okay? So the red zone can be that you're really frustrated and mad to a point where, you know, you want to do something. And so we're all, we all have times when we're in these different zones. And so what, where are you starting your day? What zone are you in? Okay, I want you to think about that today. What zone are you starting in? And when we're in each one, we can help ourselves so that we don't have things that happen that, that upset us and, and get us maybe in trouble or we do or say things that aren't what we should be doing. You know, something that I, I noticed and some staff noticed just over the last few days is there's some kids who are doing some spitting, you know, where you like spit out of your mouth. That's, that's gross. It also is unhealthy. So we don't want to spit on the ground and we also obviously don't want to spit on other people, their clothing or at their skin, okay? So if you are spitting, I want you to know that that's not something that we would do at school. Um, if you have something in your mouth that's bothering you or something and you need to get it out, we'd want you to spit in a trash can or the, the sink area and, and flush or wash that out. Um, that's if you've got something in your mouth that you're trying to get out but we don't want to spit on the ground or at people you know i'm right now in the green zone right having a great time 
But if somebody came up to me and they did spit at me or on me, I could really fast go from here to here. I could go to red, I'd be pretty upset. Now when I get there, what do I do? So if somebody did spit on me, I'd be like, hey, that's gross, I don't like that. You need to stop. And I may need to not only tell them, but I may need to tell an adult, okay? That's what helps me in the red zone if I'm feeling that way. But if I were in the red zone and feeling that way, um, because someone spit at me or on me and I went and I spit at them or punched them or pushed them or whatever Because sometimes that can happen when you get in the red zone That's not a good way to solve it because then that's gonna end up making it worse, right? It's gonna make the problem worse So sometimes we can be in a zone any of these zones and we can get to another one by something happening Sometimes when I'm in the red zone I just need to walk away. I need to go calm down take some belly breaths and calm down. So those are some things I can do to help me when I'm in the red zone. So I want you to be thinking about that today. Where are you at to start your day? And think about that through your day, how you can help yourself as you may be feeling different emotions. And you know what? All emotions are okay. We all feel them, we all have them. So just keep that in mind. What's the best way for you to handle that emotion? Because we all have them. Hey, guess what is a cool emotion? When it's your birthday. We got a couple birthdays to announce today. Happy birthday to Kingston McGowan. Today's Kingston's birthday. Happy birthday to you. You can come on down and pick out the birthday bucket. And tomorrow on Saturday, happy birthday to Mrs. Lindgren. Happy birthday, Mrs. Lindgren. You can also come on down and pick out the birthday bucket. We hope you have a great birthday this Saturday, this weekend on the 9th. And then for Kingston, we want you to have an awesome birthday today as well. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great start to our day. Let's remember that when we're at Frylands Elementary School, we respect everyone's feelings and property and their right to learn and be safe. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls, and always remember, your Fryland's family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon.